Hey, welcome back to Diecast Cars. So today we got an unboxing for you guys. So the buzz around town is all about these Best Buy exclusive cars. And as of this past weekend, you could go on bestbuy.com and order yourself a 36 count box off the Best Buy com website so elephant in the room why did hot wheels choose best buy to do these exclusive cars as well as a melon promotion it beats me guys there's not that many best buys around to give you guys an example there used to be two in my town one recently just shut down this last year and the one that we have still open it's in a very busy part of town however there's not a lot of business in there the store itself is kind of bare so it's interesting that Hot Wheels is always choosing these stores that are kind of on their way out, kind of like GameStop, kind of like Kmart, Toys R Us, to do all these Malin exclusives. But nonetheless, this is what we got, and I have two boxes to unbox for you guys today. So right off the bat, you can see there is something a little different about both my boxes. One of them has been inspected by Best Buy, which is interesting. I guess some things never change, whether it's Kmart or... <laughs> GameStop, somehow these boxes get open before they get to the consumer's hands, but we're going to cross our fingers and hopefully there is still a super in here or at least give me all of the exclusives. So without further ado, let's get these boxes open. Let me just make a little bit of room here and get this at an angle so you guys can see it. Here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Hopefully we get the NK Super, which... In this case would be the Audi wagon, but even if we don't get that, it's not a big deal. I think the big thing that I want out of this case is obviously the explosives, but I really want that 22B treasure hunt, which I've only found three of them up to this point. You guys know me. I love my Subarus. I love my 22Bs. I got to get as many of these as I can, and right off the bat, my eyes go straight to it. So mission accomplished when it comes to the cars inside the pack so there is the 22b treasure hunt from what i've seen on social media as well as youtube every one of these best buy cases always has at least one 22b treasure hunt and as far as the exclusive cars there are only one set per box and we'll start right here with this white mclaren f1 so this is one of the exclusive cars from best buy just gonna cherry pick the exclusives first here. We got the Honda N600 in red. That is also one of the exclusives. And I know this one is a favorite among the collectors right here. This is the Porsche in orange. And unfortunately I have a cracked blister on it, but this is the Porsche 935 in orange. It does look pretty good. I'm actually a big fan of this cast. and. All the releases up to this point have had some really nice color schemes. So happy to have that one. And the last one is the Dodge Van. A Ryu Asada Tribute. In blue. So this one, guys, I am still looking for the Super Treasure Hunt, but super happy to have the Best Buy Retailer Exclusive version. Looks pretty good, actually. Now that I'm seeing this exclusive, I kind of wish the Super was a variation of this blue. A Spectra Flame blue, I think, would have looked really nice for this car. But sweet. All four exclusives are counted for out of this first box. So let's go through this first box just so you guys get an idea of what other cars are in this box. So next up, we got the Lotus Evasia as well as the 62 Corvette Gasser. So I know this one is pretty popular and nice new model here for 2022. Then we got some fantasy casts, but we got the Max Steel and then another popular new model for 2022, the Volvo 240 Drift Wagon. One of my favorites for the year, the all new Maxima drift car and then the Lanza Delta Integrale. Next up, we got the Audi Avant RS2 1994. This would have been the Super Treasure Hunt coming out of the end case. I really don't think that the odds of getting a Super out of these 36 count boxes are really good. I haven't seen anybody post up a Super out of these cases, but never say never, it might be possible. 
jump to the next car here. We got the 47 Chevy Fleet Line in the matte black and Moon Eyes livery. And the Drifta. I feel like this car was made prior to the JDM era and this was their attempt at kind of getting their feet wet before they started getting all the correct license models. And then we got a big old Borla truck here, the 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss in white. Followed by the BMW R9T Racer. Looks pretty good in black. I know that it originally came out in white. Some more fantasy casts here, but we got the Dodge Charger 1971. Donut Drifter and the tuned Silverado in red. Second recolor of this one. Next up, we got an EV car. So, Green Speed, Lucid Air, and White. Here's a pretty cool fantasy cast here. New for 2022, the Lightning Bug. I believe this car does glow, but interesting wheels for you folks who do swap out these. Mainline wheels, clear tires, kind of neat. And then a recolor of the Shelby Cobra 427 in yellow this time. I believe the first time it was in blue for 2022. Some Batman action here. So we got the Arkham Asylum in purple, which I think that's pretty fitting for that car. And then I know this gold TV series Batmobile was pretty popular when it came out. Again, prices have definitely dropped off, but this was a pretty pricey car at one point. I believe it was upwards of $10 to $15. Unreal prices. Hopefully none of you guys paid that much for this mainline release of the Batmobile, which isn't even a first edition, but looks pretty cool. And these two kind of go together. We got the Volvo Estate all in black. Got the EV Hummer in orange. Couple of yellow cars here. The Acura NSX recolor in yellow. Ryu Asada Tribute. And then the Range Rover Classic in the yellow. Looks pretty good with the mud tires. Then we got the Twin Mill the Camaro SS and another Camaro, the black 69 convertible, which looks pretty sharp in that tuxedo black and white. And then we got the 68 Mercury Cougar in blue. One of the comeback cars for 2022, the Toyota Supra back into the main line in this red. Got the Koenigsegg Gamera, all orange. Custom 69 Chevy pickup. And last but not least, you guys know I have claimed this car the best new mainline for 2022, the Pagani Zonda R in this matte black. All right, so here we go, box number two. This one not inspected by Best Buy, so hopefully if there was a Super in here, it's still in here. Always nice to open up a fresh box. Never know what you're gonna get. So I'm thinking more of the same guys. I see the 22B dead center. So again, that is a win in my book because that is a highly anticipated car for me this year. So I'll definitely snag that one. Looking at the Audi, it looks kind of shiny guys. Let's check it out. Nope, just the main line, just reflection off my light there, but nonetheless, a cool wagon. And then just searching here for my exclusives. I got the white McLaren here on the bottom. And I'm gonna mess up the entire stack in the box by pulling this one out, but that one is accounted for. And then we got the Porsche up top. The 935 and this one also has a busted blister so that's not cool both of my Porsches have the busted blister and now I am looking for 
the Dodge Van. Again, awesome release, awesome color. And last but not least, you got the Honda N600 in red. Nice little car there. And as far as the rest of the cars in the box, I think it's more of the same. Not going to go through all of these, but you guys get the idea of what to expect out of these Best Buy boxes. Alright, so getting into the highlights out of the box, you got to start with the 22B. So again, highly anticipated treasure hunt for me this year, being a Subaru guy. This car currently right now sells for about $5. I know earlier on, guys, this was selling for anywhere around the 15 to 20 dollar mark but happy to see it's coming down in price so that i can pick up a couple more for the collection next up you got the mclaren f1 in all white so i am a sucker for all white cars just because you can see all the definition all the body lines of the car and this one in particular has so much of that going on this is the third recolor this year originally came in black then in orange so glad to have a third color variation for the year and then my favorite of the four car exclusives for Best Buy, the Dodge van in this blue. It has clear windows too, which is nice because then you can see all the details inside. The nice little go-kart and the chrome interior looks pretty good. Again, if you guys don't know much about the Doji Bonds in Japan, they take these cars, they put skinny, tiny little wheels and tires on them, and then they drift them down the toge roads in the back mountains. So pretty awesome car, cool culture that they've created with these cars. And then the Porsche 935, so I know this is going to be a collector favorite because of the color, but also because Porsches are definitely spiking right now in the market. This one is no exception, it looks great. I think my favorite feature of this cast is that they extend the windshield plastic all the way down to the front fog lights. So. I always like that because it always reminds me of those Le Mans cars that go 24 hours and they need those giant fogs to make sure they can see at night. But nonetheless, a cool casting, pretty extreme, especially with that giant wing in the back. But, and last but not least, guys, you have the custom 1970s Honda N600. So I know it's a Honda, but for some reason, guys, this cast, this model always tends to be sitting on the pegs. It's just one of those forgotten cars, but got to have at least one of these in your collection. So from a value standpoint, this four car exclusive set from Best Buy currently right now is selling anywhere from $20 to $25, which is pretty pricey for an exclusive set and i'm guessing a lot of that has to do with the availability of best buys in the area i don't feel like a lot of people have caught on that you can buy these boxes off of the best buy website but again you're paying 44 dollars per box me and myself i bought both of these boxes after taxes and shipping i paid 100 dollars out the door which i know isn't very appetizing and if you're not really a set collector and you really just want to pinpoint the one or two cars to get out of this set that are actually worth getting, it would be these two right here. So the Dodge Van, again, the significance really is because it is a reused ride, recolor, and then the Porsche 935 in this orange recolor being a first edition model here for 2022. These two currently right now, they each sell individually for about $10 a piece. Let's not forget the ultimate goal of this entire mission was to get the Best Buy receipt for $80 so that I could submit all of these card bags and get the Subaru Impreza WRX STI Bug Eye Malin car. So here you can see I have assorted 80 card bags that I have just been saving for a good Malin car like this. I will say that the rules are posted up on the Hot Wheels. Mattel Creations website, if you haven't yet, go and take a look just to make sure you're within the restrictions. But as long as the cards are from 2018, you need 20 of them per melon and you just need to spend $20 per melon. So I don't see any correlation between the amount that you spend and having to actually get 20 cars. And nowhere in the rules does it say that you have to rip the cars 
that you just purchased from Best Buy, right? So all the cards that I unbox today, I don't plan on taking any of them out of pack, out of blister. I'm gonna leave them right where they are and just use all of these old cards that I've been saving for quite some time here. So not sure if that's what Hot Wheels and Mattel intended for these mail-in promotions, but again, according to the rules, it's all acceptable. Let me know how your Best Buy 36 count boxes went. Let me know if you were able to pull out a super or any additional exclusive cars. And let me know how you're setting up your Malin for the Subaru Malin promotion car. Like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time on Die Cash Cars.